What is going on, guys? Zeddy of Fliptronics. I'm going to be going over the top five best Bitcoin apps that you can make money with in 2021 and beyond. Now, as I'm going over these, if you guys could smash the like button, and of course, if you want to check any of them out, I'll have some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. And you're going to see my account balances on each one of these. And I'm also going to give you some coins I would recommend getting into at the end as well. Okay, so Coinbase is going to be the first app. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody is familiar with Coinbase at this point. I've been using them for like seven years. I built my account up from basically zero dollars to over 200k. So, you know, it's uh, it's been a crazy year for me in crypto. You know, actually, my account went from like 10,000 to over 200k on Coinbase. Now you've got over 40 coins that you can buy, sell, and trade here. Also, I would recommend using Coinbase Pro, which you're automatically going to be enrolled into after you sign up at Coinbase. Now, Coinbase Pro is more of a trading app. So once you get familiar with like how to, you know, buy and sell crypto on, you know, the normal Coinbase app, you can move over to the Pro. Uh, currently, I've got around like 30K in here and they've got all the same coins uh, that you can get on Coinbase is on Coinbase Pro. Okay, uh, the next app we're going to be checking out is going to be Binance US. I would probably say this is going to be your best overall crypto trading app mainly because the layout is very nice the fees are extremely low you're looking anywhere from like 0.1 to 0.5 percent for buying and selling which is you know really cheap but being able to pull up graphs on your phone like instantly by the one minute you know two minute five minute time frames things like that i mean it's pretty powerful and it's just it's just very user friendly. It's super easy to use. And, uh, you know, Binance US is awesome. All right. Uh, next one we're going to be checking out is going to be Robinhood. Now, obviously, Robinhood is more of a stock trading app, but you can also buy crypto here. Now, the benefit to using Robinhood is that you don't have to pay any fees for the buying and selling. And the other benefit to using Robinhood is that they allow you to borrow money to buy crypto. So in order to borrow money, you need to have at least $2,000 in your account. They'll let you borrow dollar for dollar. It is a little bit risky to do this. However, you know, leveraging yourself uh, by borrowing money to make more money is pretty powerful. But, you know, at the same time, you could obviously lose money. So there are risks involved in it. But I was uh, kind of just showing you, I actually borrowed some money to buy Bitcoin Cash on Robinhood, about 25000 and it's worked out really well for me. Okay, now we've got eToro Crypto. I've been using this for like six to eight months. This is a social trading app where you can actually like, you know, talk to people about different crypto coins on here, make friends with people. There's built-in communities. I own some Tron on here, TRX. There's 15 coins that you can buy, sell, and trade. Um, the fees are going to be the same as using the base Coinbase Um which you're going to be looking at anywhere from like 0.5 to 1.5 percent a little bit higher but at the same time eToro is uh awesome then we've got blockfi i just started using blockfi and the cool thing about this app is that it's basically like an interest paying app so you buy into some of these cryptocurrencies they've got like the popular ones the main ones like bitcoin and ethereum and they just pay you interest and you can see i've already started to accrue some interest you can also get loans on there okay now that i've gone over those apps right I'm going to recommend three coins. Like I said, not financial advice, but I think these would be three to get good to get into right now based on, you know, where they are. Now, Bitcoin Cash has been like a top 10, top 15 cryptocurrency, you know, since it's been around, honestly. And uh, it's one of the only top coins that has yet to break its all time high, which is around four thousand dollars. Now, I think this coin could easily get up to $2,000 very fast. I think anything under $1,000 on Bitcoin Cash is definitely good. Um, the next coin I would recommend checking out is Engine. So Engine's had a really good run up for the year. However, I think it's going to go even higher. I recently purchased quite a bit of this one, um, around $20,000 worth of this coin. So I do think that it's going to go up in value. I mean, I think we could see it get to 10 bucks by the end of the year, if not higher. So, I mean, anything in the $2 range, um, even low $3 range, I think is a good long-term hold on that one. Then the last coin here is going to be Stellar XLM. Now, I don't own any Stellar currently. I did a little while ago, but I sold it. Um, I might buy back into it, but I do think this is a good one as well because... The coin is yet to break its all-time high, which is around 90 cents. Um, it's a very popular cryptocurrency. I think it's going to be here, you know, in the next three to five years. Um, and I think it's a good long-term hold as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to get started on any of the uh, apps and exchanges I went over, like I said, I'll have some bonus 
links in both the description and comments. If you can smash the like button, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.